Blacktail Mountain watermelon. I got some Parasilus or Parasilin cause lettuce there and down here. And then I, this says I'm supposed to have Green Wave uh, mustard. So I'm not sure what's going on there, um, unless they start out purple. <laughs> here, 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 here. We have sage. These are yellow monster peppers. All three of those germinated. And then next to it, oh, these two germinated as well, are the yellow pequeno peppers. Got some salad burnet right here. That's a serrano pepper. Paris Island cause lettuce. I guess I said that one already. Yeah. Nasturtiums. Mm. Got some shard back there. Another watermelon. Not sure what variety that is. Some calendula here. That whole row is supposed to be calendula. Nice. So good germination. We did this together, what, on April 8th. And today is April 16th, I believe. So eight days ago. Wow. All the difference eight days can make, huh? Here is the coleus I started by seed um, on February 26th, I want to say. I have not removed this bag once since then. And today's... Wow. These look great. Look at those roots down there. We're pretty impressed with those coleus plants, aren't we, huh, Pip? Huh, babies? Okay, maybe it's just me. All right, so I planted these on March 27th. Again, today is April 16th. We got the rose mint, some Kelway chamomile, and some Munstead lavender, all perennials and all very slow growing <laughs> but they all germinated so that's good these pumpkins I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I have no way of keeping these alive I mean they're gonna be huge by the time it's time to put them out there I don't know how I'm gonna do it I don't think I can um, I'm just gonna try to harden them off and put them in a green stalk with some frost fabric and I hope that works. Um, yeah, that's that's about all I got. I am going to start some more pumpkin seeds, but not anytime soon because <laughs> I, I, I have no way of containing plants this big. I mean, this is ridiculous and they're just getting started. peppers, some serrano peppers, some pizza peppers, some alma, pep or, uh, alma paprika peppers, and uh, lesia peppers. My black eyed Susan is looking great. She's a growing. Down here is my birdhouse gourd. That looks awesome. Some figs. Just little seedlings. 
That was a cutting I took. That's rooting really good. That's some of that uh, variegated Cuban oregano. And here's another Black Eyed Susan, still looking good. I'm excited for those. Uh, some kind of pepper. Sweet Bella pe Bell Pepper. This is the only one I have of this, and my cat got a hold of it. I don't know if it's going to make it. I got another pizza pepper right here. Oh my, I got that oregano on my hand now. <laughs> Smells so good. Down here, I have the um, tomatoes. I started back on March 27th, and I got some black cherry, black strawberry, mushroom basket, Dr. Witchy's yellow, Atlas hybrid, pink jazz, hybrid early doll, cherry falls, Oregon spring. That's nine different varieties. You can see where I thinned them out and I just laid them there and now they're all dried up. <laughs> uh, they don't look too great, do they? Um, but uh, I'm sure I can remedy that, we'll see. Here's some more peppers. Uh, Tabasco, Tabasco. Mm, no label on that one because it wouldn't be fun if I didn't do that to myself. And what is this one? Tabasco. Here's a dwarf senior. Tabasco. Wow, I got a lot of Tabasco peppers. Tabasco. <laughs> and Tabasco. And this is not spearmint. These are just um, some of the extra tomato seed oh, here. Another pepper, but I didn't, I don't have a tag in that one. Down here is a Tabasco pepper. Some more peppers without tags in them. I don't know what they are. This is a Fiesta pepper, yay. I got one of those. Oh, surprise, another Tabasco. <laughs> Thumbelina Zinia, look. Isn't it so cute, it's so tiny. <laughs> I got another one back there that's about ready to bloom. I have two little sprigs of perpetual spinach here. I started on March 19th. Excited for that. I've never tasted it. If you have, tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear. Y'all look what I did. I brought some plants out here and I wasn't paying attention to what was in here. Cause for sure I wanted to put my choy and stuff out. I got some choy here. Purple lady and choy there and there and there. Some parsley. This is perpetual spinach cuttings. But look, two of my peppers got out here. They didn't die. Um, I'm going to have to look up and see what the low temperature was last night. I mean, to be honest, they might have been out here two nights. <laughs> Whoopsie. That concludes this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.